Awasoga Murio, Murio, Kodeo Bana, Wewale Kufuna Mama. Your Highness, Your Majesty, and uh, the Queen, your parents, the queens of uh, the different uh, uh, kingdoms that are present here, Deputy Speaker of Parliament, First Deputy Prime Minister, Ministers, Members of Parliament, all protocol observed. I'm not going to say a lot of, uh, I'm not going to speak for a long time today. Today is not uh, a day for speeches. But I want to th start by thanking His Majesty for inviting me to this function. It's an honor to be here on this historic day when the Chavazinga of Busoga finds a wife and marries a wife. The Bible says that a man who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from God. I know, Your Majesty, that your life has been full of favor. We sat one day, I'm privileged to call His Majesty my friend. He can call me for a chat, for a discussion. So he told me about his life story. And I know that he has already had a lot of favor from God in his life. But today, I think that favor is going to be even more now that you have your wife by your side. His Majesty is a very, very down-to-earth and humble person. If you did not know, if you met him somewhere, maybe outside Uganda, you would not know that he's a king. He behaves in a very, very humble and ordinary way. That is very special. We're special to have a person like him. We're, 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 we're favored to have a, a person like him uh, in the country. He is also a very progressive person. He has a lot of ideas for his kingdom and for the country. And we usually share quite a bit together. There are other things I can discuss about him, but maybe in his own time he will, he will reveal them. If he, if he wants to. Um, I will end by on, uh, by saying that on behalf of my wife Charlotte, who accompanied me, and our family, we would like to give His Majesty and the Queen 10 cows from our farm. In our culture of the Wanyankore, if a friend gives you a cow, he now graduates from being a friend to 
part of the family. So when you're ready, your majesty, please come and receive your cows. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, General Mohoz Kainarugawa. May I now have the singular honor to invite the person I call my young brother, Thomas Taewa, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, to address us. Majesty the Chabazinga, Your Majesty the Inebantu, Your Majesties from Uganda, Toro, and Bunyoro, government officials, ladies and gentlemen. I think. I'm the only Muchiga here. So I'll bring greetings from the Bachiga and congratulations, and we are celebrating. The rest, the Honorable Rumumba knows we have fulfilled all the requirements and all the conditions you put for the Basoga before this wedding. The Wari Kujema. The Vachiga join and all of us. Your Majesty, I want to congratulate you and Mama Waife and all the Vasoga. But above all, I want to congratulate the people of Vasoga for putting up such a marvelous function for mobilizing the whole country for holding the whole country captive with your imagination, with enthusiasm, everywhere, everywhere. It has been Busoga, Chavazinga, Isebantu, Inebantu, and all of us. Congratulations. Now the bigger task is with His Majesty. Because when we are visualizing your life, for us commoners, we believe yours is about orders. Like how it is in the Bible, that a wife has to be submissive. Now for us, Bachiga, even a man has to be submissive, or you square it out. But the only trick I've learned from my 15 years of marriage, and we have shared a lot, is that it's much easier to love your, li your wife into submission than thinking your wife should submit. I know His Majesty, everyone submits, but the inner band too is a human being. I know how much you love her. Please love her into submission. Because we men, in the Bible, we are given a much bigger task. The women are given a task of being submissive, but for us we are given a task of loving our wives the way God loved his church. That's a much bigger task. To me, that's my thinking. So I want to congratulate you, and from our different conversations, I do have the belief that indeed you will love the inner band too, and we shall be there to support you. Your Majesty, I also want to urge you indeed to build on the momentum that Busoga has brought into the country. You have seen proof that Busoga has many friends from all corners of the world. Let's build on this momentum and we transform Busoga. If my senior brother MK can be here, 
if the president can do what he did, why can't we do more for you beyond celebration? Why can't we do more for you? And we transform Busoga. Busoga, you've known you don't have any better friend than the NRM. You've known it today. You've known it. NRM is the most reliable and the best friend you can have. So let's build on it. Let's, build, let's move with NRM, which is in charge, and we transform Busoga. To me, I believe that's the best way we can do it. We don't need means words on such issues. NRM can transform Busoga. And let's build on that. Finally, as I conclude, Mama Inebantu, I know now you've gone into a bigger task. You have seen here, we are your reliable friends. You have reliable friends from all over. You've seen us. And these friends are ready to support your projects because the Ise Bantu has been a very great brother to us. So we shall support you. Whatever projects you bring up, please, my senior brother here, the Prime Minister, will just knock on our doors and we shall come in handy to support you. I want to report to you that the right honourable speaker of parliament would have been here herself, but you know as a narongo, she is not yet allowed to go beyond the boundaries of Kampara. So she loves you, she, she sends you greetings, and she said she would look for you after here. But your members of parliament, your majesty, have been mobilizing us in parliament, have been dancing in parliament, creating the mood led by the right honourable Mumba here, Mama Kadaga, who has been calling on all of us to support this, and we know how much she loves you. Your MPs are here. I think it would be prudent if the MPs can just come and you see who has come here. The members of parliament, just, oh, you stand up and you wave at His Majesty. Honourable Mawanda, Honourable Riri Anabe, Honourable Namutu Umba here, I'm seeing Kamuri, I'm seeing Bujiri, all of them are here. You have very great representatives in parliament who are pushing for issues of Ubusoga and honorable colleagues keep up. As I conclude, please take your seats. As I conclude, honorable colleagues, you've seen the task His Majesty and other kingdoms have. His Excellency, the President, made a directive that kingdoms should be well facilitated. He put it in writing. It is us who have not yet implemented. Let's go back in the coming budget, we implement His, his Excellency's directive. He ordered that every month, at least a king, each kingdom should be getting 60 million. He ordered that we should give them cash. The President has done his part. Now we, because when the president directs, it's like a high voltage line. For us who are down, we are supposed to step it down and distribute it to people. So, honorable colleagues, let's work out with uh, our first deputy prime minister who is here, who should ensure that indeed it comes. I promise on behalf of members of parliament that we shall ensure the president's directive is implemented. Congratulations once again. Now, his majesty is a very good friend of Kigezi, has been visiting Kigezi, he knows we don't have cows. We don't have cows, we have Irish potatoes. We have uh, sweet potatoes. But uh, my wife and I, we have 10 cows at our small farm. Out of the 10, we shall pick five heifers. We, we've shared half, 50-50. We shall pick five heifers and we deliver them to your farm so that you can celebrate with the inner band. I congratulate you once again. Thank you. Thank you very much. The right honorable Taewa and all of you who have uh, spoken.